What's happening, Magnusites? Time for another Magnus Answers with the guy that wields the dark mule man, deliberating on his throne of thought. Ready to answer your question as the Magnusite movement marches forward to 1 million subscribers. 60,000 strong! Now, uh, let's do what this brother said. <laughs> I really love these emails because some of them are really funny because I've been through them and a ton of guys have been through it. I haven't, exa I haven't been through this one, but it's funny because I know how to handle this and I know what's going on. So <laughs> he says, hey, Magnus, I recently ran into a problem. I asked a girl out at work for her number and I found out it was fake. I was very brief of how I talked to her. I got her name, complimented her, and went for the number. So that's good. You had the balls to do it, all right? So that's good. You're on, you're on the right track, all right? Her face turned red, and before I left, she asked who I was. <laughs> you got to introduce yourself so she don't have to ask, brother. So th that's all right. That's a small mistake. That's all right. I thought this was a good sign. However, could she have wrote down the wrong number? People don't usually write down their number wrong, but it's a possibility in this day of cell phones. Um, it was a while ago, about a month. However, it was really awkward for when I saw her again. I don't know how I would talk to her about it and if she feels the same. She did seem awkward before, but I don't know about it now. What should I say, and how do I make it this not awkward anymore? It's going to be awkward. So you just put, it's awkward to ask a girl out, so just push, push through that shit. If you really need to know, ask her. Ask her, hey, did you give me the wrong number on purpose? You know what I mean? Ask her, you know. Uh, and you'll get an answer, and you can move on if you need closure. So do I even have a chance with this girl, and how do I get uh, to change her mind? You don't want to change your mind. If she, man, if she gave you the wrong fucking number, fuck her. Seriously. First of all, that's some ignorant shit to give you a wrong number and she works with you. So she put herself in that awkward position, giving you the wrong number, and she knows she's going to see you again. I mean, tell you the truth, I prefer, you know, I, I like for people to tell me the truth, but I prefer at the worst the girl just fucking lie to me. You know, I got a boyfriend. Okay, I'll leave you alone. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Um, it says, I see her almost every day at work and it's hard to move on. She's absolutely stunning and I'm crazy about her. Fuck her. Okay? And uh, any help would be awesome and keep up your channel. One million subscribers. Woo. P.S. Sorry for the long message. This ain't long. For those of y'all that send me long messages, if they are seriously, if they're, then I got to scroll and scroll. You need to make a video question, make it um, unlisted on your YouTube account and send me the link so I can watch it. If you don't want me to see your face, just sit off cam and talk, okay? Because some of this stuff, it's like y'all want to tell me your whole life story and I appreciate that. But, yo, know, I really don't have time for letters like this. Seriously, I want to help. But please, just please help me out in that form or fashion. So, I can tell you a young dude. Okay, first of all, if a girl don't want to be with you, fuck her. All right? Get her out of your mind. I realize she's beautiful. Let me tell you something. There was this one girl I was interested in, and uh, my boy introduced me to her. And the way she reacted when we were introduced, I was like, oh, you greasy bitch. Move on then. You know what I mean? Like, really, and she's bad. But after I found out she had a stank attitude, no. I'm sorry. I don't care how stunning you are. You're not worth my time. Okay, so in your example, she gave you a fake number. She works with you. She's willing to play you out, and she works with you. So she knows she's going to see you every day. She did you dirty like that. But just in case she's not, you had the balls to ask her out, have the balls to walk up to her and say, listen, did you give me the wrong number on purpose? You could have just said you got a boyfriend or you're not interested or I'm not your type. That was fine. Have the balls to do that. You can do it, man, because you already had the balls to step to her. Don't let her bother you with, with this. 
and then don't pay her no mind after that. Seriously. If there's any way to get a girl that she felt you were sweating her in the beginning is to not pay attention to her after that. Don't pay no fucking attention to her. Move the fuck on. And if she wants to taste, she'll let you know. All right? Magnus Sykes, comment down below. Let this bull know what's going on. I know you all agree with me with what's going on. All right? One million subscribers. Woo!